Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Mario Party 2. This time we're going to do Horror Land. Yes, we are in Horror Land, the haunted forest. In this haunted forest, wishes, cottages line the paths, and ghosts gather after nightfall. Wield the magic of truth and justice when venturing through the forest. Your objective this time, as always, is to defeat the wizard Bowser, a resident of the haunted forest, and goes to Hogwarts. Defeat Bowser to become the superstar or the master wizard of Horrorland. Okay, so I am recording this on the 22nd. So, basically nine days before Halloween. So, hopefully I'll have the, well, for you guys that are members of the channel, you get to see this before Halloween and stuff like that. But for the rest of you that are not a member of the channel and stuff like that, You'll see this sometime after Halloween, which, welcome anyways, I'm glad that you're here. Let's have some fun with Mario Party 2. Horror Land, oh yes, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a spooky dooky time. Here in the horrors of land. Okay, Baby Bowser all the way up there at the top. Toad is over by the Koopa Bank up there to the right. And we have a Cooper Bank right at the start, which is not really cool, but you never know. It's an easy Cooper Bank to land on in this area. And I am playing as the princess of kidnapping from Bowser because, I don't know, it's... Oh, wow. As I said, easy to land on, so... Cool. I'm in the lead with 15 coins. Awesome. But yeah, Princess Peach. She gets kidnapped kidnapped by Bowser a lot. And Mario has to go save her butt a lot. So, I figured it would be a good time to use her because I use Luigi on Pirate Land. So that's why I'm using Peach this time instead of Luigi number one. Since it is kind of more his board with Luigi's Mansion. So him and the booze kind of go together on the board, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. We are going to start with Totem Pole Pound. I don't know why. Who cares? Okay. We already played this, so... I won this last time, so let's keep it up with the winning record. I am not going to lose a single time in this minigame. I was looking at Luigi, I was... Almost clip what? That was a full stomp. What are you talking about? Mario is gonna win. Oh my I don't know why the second bounce didn't give a full Wow, okay. Well, so much for my winning record on that minigame. I guess I opened my mouth a little too soon. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it to Mario. He did play that pretty well. Luckily. Okay, so the first star is up there. Ah! That's where it is, okay. I was thinking it was up here, but no, it's down here. So, in this sense, it makes more sense to go this way, where DK's going. But, okay, Luigi and DK don't have enough. I can definitely get close to it. And there's a thing that would happen once it becomes nightfall. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Okay. So, the thing with the Womps is that nighttime, they will be frozen solid and won't move. So, if that guy is right there, if he stays put, and then at night time, we won't be able to go that way. We can only go the other way. But if if DK or Luigi gets a high enough roll and goes this way, then the Womp is going to block this path. 
in which case I won't be able to get the star because this idiot is gonna be frozen in this idiot spot because these two idiots get a big dice, dice roll to go past, wow. Okay, I'm not gonna get an item though. Because I win the next minigame, I can get the star. As long as they don't get a high enough roll. Of course he does, so unfortunately. Oh, he goes that way. Okay, good job. That's good. Oh, he's going that way. I would not have done that. I would not have done that, but okay. Works for me. Go left. No, you stupid monkey. Go up. You stupid monkey. He's blocking my path. Well, that's unfortunate, because now I can't get the star. Ridonkulous. Oh, it make a marathon, really? Another button mashing game? Really? Oh, right. yeah. I'm in my big chair, so I can... I have room here to button mass, you know? In my other chair, which is slimmer, it's a little more cramped, so... Yeah, how about that? Okay. We did do this in the last video, right? I mean, last board. Ah! I don't really have the best button massing technique. I tense up a lot, and I was holding my neck there for a second. Ah! I'm not gonna win because they're on hard mode and they would be able to button mash quicker than me. I wasn't last though. Of course that dumbass. Wait a minute. Oh. So the record's broken by the Computer players actually does count. Cause that was... I believe... Who did that record last time? I forgot who it was, but apparently the computer player's record does actually count. Which is interesting. Okay, so I can't go that way. If I try to, the magic prevents Swamp from moving at night. Bull crap! So we have to go this way, but uh, at least I get to sew this one. <laughs> Just in time, we're about to have a party. Won't you dance with us? Well, normally I would decline. But for you guys, I will sew this. So. Let the haunting begin! Dance in the moonlight! <laughs> and then Peach goes sideways. Professionally. You dance all night! Morning has come! So yeah, that's another way to get nighttime to daytime, so... And then Luigi decides to do a stupid and land on the happening space. Which changes from day to night or night to day, whichever. Now, you stupid monkey. But at least he didn't get my coins because I landed on the bank on my first turn. So, ha ha ha. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, Luigi is doing bowl over. Go away! Okay. With them out of the way, I have a shot now. Ha 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 ha! You can't get me! I didn't even have to move. <laughs> I didn't even have to move. He moved it too far to the left, I, I would have been fine if I stayed put. <laughs> ah, what a 
Hammer. He does get the two coin pin coins, but the rest of us did win the mini game, so that's unfortunate. Unfortunate in the sense that they won coins, Mario and DK, so yeah, 47 is the coin record, which I'm not happy about. Ooh, I land on a happiness space, so Luigi and I are tied for one. I sort of got myself set up because when editing the last board, I was trying to find out whether battle games would count for the minigame star, which they don't. And I was trying to tally up the number of coins everyone has won from the minigame. So I probably should have kept that up even during playing the board. So I, uh, hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to at least do the happening star so I would know who has the happening star right now. So let's see. Yeah, no, I'll do that after this. Ready? I know, I should have set up beforehand, but I didn't think about it. So la la la. No, 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 no. Luigi, get. Get away from me, you stupid green-headed pizza! No, 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 TV screen. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, Mario. Peach. Peach. Start. Ooh, nine. I don't want to give up five coins. What are you talking? Oh, hello. I'll take another half of this space. That's two for me now. Okay, Luigi's next, and then DK is last because he's a wimp. Okay. And Luigi gets to warp down to the bottom side of the map because he wants to get closer to the star, which he's not going to be able to get it because he doesn't have enough coins, although he still has a ways to get there. DK, you suck. <laughs> All right, I have two. There we go. Okay. Ooh, I get to do a one versus three. Okay, what am I gonna do? I wanted a coin game. Hello. Wait, no, I don't want coin game because it's not how we play coin game in Mario Party One. I would prefer the Mario Party One version instead of number two. So. If I was the one player, that is. Okay. So now I have to use the... Ha <laughs> ha! That guy sucks. Come on! Die! Join your brother in the afterlife! Come on! Oh, come on, you suck. Well, at least I got the Mario Brothers. I killed them. Wow. Had a little drink there. Okay. So, Peach has killed the Mario Brothers. So, unfortunately, if she gets kidnapped by Bowser, no one can save her. Unless maybe Daisy will, because she slapped Bowser into oblivion in Mario Party 3, so, yeah. Ooh, that, gee, gee, hey, ho, ha. I'm getting some big numbers now, which is nice to see, but I didn't want to go past the bank. I wanted to land on it. Luigi still has a chance to do so, but, bleh. 
that's not a good thing to do, but I applaud your efforts. Because, well, crap. Well, he's gonna go left, right? No, of course not. He's gonna go that way, and then he's gonna go that way. DK, do you not see ahead of you? It's like you're blind, and... Wow. Okay, so I didn't have to do it, because he did it. Dumbass. But we are going to play an item in a game. Well, he is, because don't know why. Although, in this game, characters have their favorite items. And guess what DK's favorite item is? It's not a good one, either. Let's see if he gets it. He doesn't get it, okay. Whew. His favorite item is the Bowser Bomb. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> oh boy. Thankfully we don't get it though, but yeah. We have played this in the last board. And Pierce won, of all things. I somehow failed by going in the water because crap happens. Okay, I'm going to win this time for sure. Ow. How did you miss me on that one? Somehow it... You stupid monkey. Go in the water. I dare you. Go in the water and don't come back. <laughs> uh, it's not gonna work if DK goes underwater because like in Donkey Kong 64, he can breathe underwater. So, you know, logic out the window. Okay, he's going that way. Uh, I don't like it that Mario is probably going to get the star next turn. I, unfortunately, is, am in the same place as I was last time. Because, look, I was going this way with the same number of coins. Dueling glove. Would be nice. But, I think the uh, mushroom would be better here. Don't you get... Don't get a two next turn, otherwise I'm gonna kick your ass. You didn't use the golden mushroom. Why? Hot rope jump. Did we do this? No, we did not. Okay. The flaming portable rope spins and spins. Jump the rope without touching a portable. Why? What happens here? What happens if you do? The rope can suddenly speed up or slow down. Watch the flame to avoid the heat. Alrighty. Un unlike Mario Party 1, when if one person hits the flame, they lose coins. Like a 1 versus 3 loss. In this game, it's down to whoever's the last one standing, so... They changed it up for this one. And I don't normally like being in the front or the back. Because the closer you are to the big portable, you're a little more likely to get hit. So it's a little more timing strict for jumping over the rope. So you gotta be careful here. I, I normally like being in the middle where Mario and Luigi is because you have a little more leeway. And when you're jumping... <laughs> when you're jumping and the rope goes fast... You gotta tap A, not hold it. If you hold A, if you give A a full press, you'll jump high, but then you're not gonna be able to jump again when you land, so... You gotta tap A, so that way you can continuously jump up and down. 
yes, Mario does not go that way, so he doesn't get the star. Get a low number, please. <laughs> That's not a low number, you stupid. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Although, hmm, okay. Yeah, I'll go this way. Why not? Can't go that way, but I will go this way. Although I was gonna go this way regardless because there's a boo 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 up here. And there's another boo on this path, so I wanna take advantage of that. As long as no one lands on a happening space. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to kick their ass. Luigi gets your skeleton key. I don't know why, but there are a couple of key gates here on this board. And they are advantages of going that way. But you have to get the at specific times of the day or night. Like for instance up there, the the gate that DK passed, it's better to go there at night. But there's a gate at the bottom of the map, it's better to go there during the day. So yeah. Our survival. Try to hit the moving targets with your arrows. Knock all three levels down to win, and Mario's doing the archery, so that's not cool. So move left and right, A to set arrow and shoot it. Peach, Luigi, and DK will only move left to right. Hit other targets like Toad, Boo, and Baby Bowser to win a cast of coins. So, hmm. If you're by yourself, you can avoid the arrow. So the computer player doesn't really have a chance here. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Other way. You could have gotten DK and... Ow. How dare you hit my target? <laughs> but yeah, DK was all by his lonesome over there. Mario never went for him once for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, will he dance? He will. Is everybody gonna dance there? We have to see if Luigi does it. But if not, then. Oh, you stupid idiot. He just did the unthinkable. Because now I can't go to Boo here. And there's another Boo right here. Because it's daytime, I can't... Mario, you asshole. Someone land on a happening space, please. He, 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 he. He's gonna go that way because he's a stinkhead. And Boo is right there as well, and you can get him during the day. So, la-di-da. -da. 